In this video, I'm gonna give you seven great reasons to consider the trades over college and hang around to the end and I will tell you my favorite reason and that has a big part to do with why I'm a plumber. Number one is hands-on experience. Now the neat thing about hands-on experience is you start learning every day from the day you go to work, or at least you should. If you're working with a good tradesperson, and I'm gonna say a plumber, I know one. If you're working with a plumber and he's a good one and he teaches you the right way to do things, you should be learning new things every day. You should also be asking questions every day. But one big tip here, ask a question and learn it. Meaning if you ask somebody why they do something, don't ask them again a few days later. Take the time to remember it, take the time to learn it, and get good at it. Number two, no college debt. You literally, in the trades, start getting paid the day you get a job. So you are learning while you're earning. You get paid to come to work every day. Going to college, college is a little bit different. You have to pay to go every day. And over the course of a four or five year period, depending on how long it takes to get through the apprentice training program or to get through college, or even if you don't go through an apprentice training program, but just to be a helper long enough to get a license, you need to look at and compare. How much are you gonna make over that four or five year period? And how much is college gonna cost you over that four or five year period? That's a big delta, probably two or $300,000 worth. So think about it and figure out What's better for you? Do you need to go to college to get the job you want? And is that debt worth it? Number three, pay increases with education. The more you learn, the more you know, the more valuable you are to your company. If you're more valuable to your company, chances are they're gonna pay you more. Think about it like this. If you're in an apprentice training program, you get two, three, maybe four raises a year, depending on how things are structured and how they're laid out. But you start out at 50% and then end up at 100% when you turn out over a four or five year period, depending on how things are structured. Again, you get raises all the time. You don't have to go ask, you get raises. Now, if you're open shop, what happens? You go talk to your boss and ask them for a raise. Look, it can happen. Remember, the more value you bring, the more you're worth to them. College, chances are, college is gonna cost you more each and every year. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Number four, you get to live a nice lifestyle. Now don't get me wrong, you may not ever get rich being a tradesperson, but I tell you what, you're gonna make a good, honest living and you're gonna have plenty of work to keep you busy. The better you are, the more work you're gonna have. Think about it, if you work for a big company, if it does come time for layoffs, time to let people go, if you're a hard worker and you bring more value than the people around you, they're gonna keep you around. And chances are, you're making more money. And if you're making more money, think about it. What else does it take to pay for your children, your wife, your house, your new truck, whatever it is you want, being in the trades, working harder, being very good at what you do and making good money, that's what it's all about. Number five, supply and demand. Now this is big because this is what's gonna help people getting into the trades right now. Look at me, I'm 56 years old. I'm not gonna be doing this a whole lot longer. And most trades people are older like this. We're looking at retirement. We're looking at slowing down. We're looking at getting out of what we're doing. This is prime opportunity for someone that doesn't wanna to go to college to get in the trades and learn it because the future looks amazing. What can you learn from old dogs like me that may help you over the next few years become better at what you do? Can I teach you to be a better plumber? Can I teach you to be a superintendent? Can I teach you the things that I know to help give you the knowledge you need to make more money? Supply and demand is huge. There's less people getting in the trades and more people retiring. If getting into the trades is something you've ever thought about and think you might be good at, this could be perfect for you and you don't have to go to college to do it. Number six, you get to do exactly what you were trained to do. I know so many people that went to college for one thing and they're doing something completely different. It happens all the time. People go to college to learn how to learn. People go to college to get educated in a certain field or a certain philosophy or whatever it is that they're learning. 
Maybe they just go for the college life. You know, the Greek life. I could have enjoyed that, but plumbers didn't do that. So think about it. As a plumber, if you go to an apprentice training program or an electrician or a HVAC tech, the elevator union is phenomenal. If you join one of these unions and you go to school for five years, guess what? When you get out, that's what you're going to be working on. You're going to be working on exactly what you went to school for. Wouldn't that kind of be nice? Because now whenever you turn out as a journeyman, you know exactly what you're doing in that field. Where a college graduate maybe gets out and now they have to learn what it is that they need to do at the company they go to work for. Whatever they got their degree in, they're still going to have to learn what that company wants them to do what that company expects them to do. So going to school in the trades is great because you learn that as you grow. You learn, you earn, you grow, you become more valuable. Number seven, chicks dig it. I know y'all have heard me say that before, but think about it. Women love having a man around that can fix things, that can build things, that can take care of problems around the house. If you've got a toilet running and you invite me over and I hear it, what do you think I'm going to do? Hey, you know what? I'll just, I'll see if I can adjust this. I'll see if I can clean it out. I'll see if I can take care of it. Oh, by the way, I fixed it. Nothing better. And I'm not saying just because you go to college, you're not mechanically inclined, but if you're a tradesperson, you're used to working with tools, working with tools every day, you get really good and you look at things and you're like, you know what? I can do that. That's a big deal. Being able to fix things and take care of things, not just for chicks, but what about for your family? What if your dad calls and says, hey, I got a toilet that's wobbling and you end up having to go over there. Not that you have to, but you really want to. But you get to go over there, pull the toilet, take out the old lead bin, put in a new one, replace it, rebuild it, do what needs to be done. That is kind of cool because now you can help take care of family and friends like they've taken care of you. Maybe. This has been great because I want you to tell me what your favorite part about possibly getting into the trades was, or if you went to college, why you think now getting into the trades might have been a good deal. But right now, I'm gonna give you my favorite part. My favorite part about being in the trades, denim. Think about it, I never have to wear a suit, I never have to wear slacks. I may have opportunity to get invited out with a big customer and they wanna go someplace nice. Sometimes we go to banquets where we're there for nonprofits. And trust me, when it's time to dress up, I know how to dress up. But my favorite thing, look, I get to wear denim every day. I get to wear my Wranglers to work every single day. And even my Wrangler shirt sometimes. So guys, what is your favorite reason for getting into the trades or what was your favorite reason for going to college? I'm sure a lot of you went to gut I'm sure a lot of you went to college and there's nothing wrong with that. Are you doing what you went to college for and is it working for you? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are thinking about going to the trades, please check out my plum study course. In it, I talk about what it takes to get started in the trades. Now I mentioned plumbing a lot, but all the things I talk about in there can be for plumbing, electrical, HVAC, roofing, carpentry, all kinds of different things. Anyway, check it out and let me know what you think. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.